All right, guys, Rise45 vlog day nine. Uh, let's see, the, the, the day before the, the dreaded day 10. I gotta, I gotta admit, I, you know, when I first got the programs, I, I took a peek at day 10 to see if it, if it really was as, as bad as, uh, as, as some of the folks had, had kind of been saying it was. And um, it, it definitely looked kind of brutal, but you know, not, not unmanageable. I'm actually thinking of going to the gym tomorrow just to, just to, to, to give it its, its full proper due. So uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. But um, yeah, so uh, today, let's see. I, I don't know if I have any actual learnings for today other than I'm still not on point with my hydration, even though I'm, you know, even though I'm, I'm drinking, I, I'm drinking a gallon and a half of water a day now. And uh, I don't know. And, 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 you know, I'm keeping my electrolytes up, so I'm not, I'm not really sure what's going on. Um, it might just be because it's cold and I'm outside a lot and I'm training, you know, twice a day and maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm I'm still just underestimating, but uh, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try and like actually just keep keep a, a running count of exactly how because usually once once I once I fill my shaker cup f up probably five times, I kind of stop counting how many times like how much I drink after that. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna so, so like I said, I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take a an actual tally and see like what feels good. Um, Tuesdays going forward are probably going to be really interesting too because as some of you know, I'm doing the PPSC master's course. For you guys who don't know what PPSC is, PPSC is uh, Dr. John Russin's pain-free performance uh, specialist certification and he's uh, he started up kind of a, a new course that's for all the folks who have you know, been through, you know, been, been through the act, the, the initial certification. And this one is, is way more focused on how, on, on the actual application. So uh, the initial PPSC courses, mainly kind of an introduction to the system, kind of the high level overview, some of the tools, things like uh, screening and assessment tools, uh, all kinds of fun things like that. And then in, in this course, we had to know how to actually uh, leverage all that info to to develop programs for, um, you know, for all kinds of things. I think like, like for example, today we talked about uh, what, 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 uh, what we call bridge programming, which is essentially, you know, return to sport, return to training. So, um, so that, that's, that's definitely cool, definitely useful for for me, because I'm always kind of putting myself in, in in situations where I, I you know not I don't have debilitating you know injuries or injuries where I don't train, but I feel like it's a good thing to know for those days where or those you know, those times where I need to scale back a little bit because you know because maybe I, I you know I popped an ankle or something you know doing a, doing a bad takedown or something like that. So I'm super excited about that. Um, but yeah, uh, as the course is Tuesday, Tuesday evening, that doesn't leave me a ton of time to train. So Tuesdays, probably, probably no, um, no workout videos on Tuesdays. I don't know. Maybe I'll see if I can get somebody to take some, uh, some, some footage of me rolling, uh, in class and post that. And you guys can watch me just get, get buried by people who are all way better at jujitsu than me. <laughs> so, uh, that can be fun. Um, anyway, on to today's topic. Uh, today I wanted to talk, uh, like I said, this week we're talking about, we're, we're so we're doing week one of training talk. And, uh, this week I'm just going to kind of, I, I had a, I, I, I thought I had an overarching topic, but, but I was looking at the topics, the way they were, they kind of laid out, uh, the way I had lined them out. And apparently I can't speak English and it, it, it's kind of a, just sort of a hodgepodge of, I guess, entry level topics, but all through the lens of kind of this rise 45. So, so today's topic is actually what I think about fitness challenges. And, you know, I'm not going to go into a critique of specific fitness challenges or talk about why I think some fitness challenges fail or why I think, I mean, I, I think when I say fitness challenges, I, I mean, in general, anything from you know, test workouts to competitions to, you know, basically just, just these little like milestones or, you know, that you might have in your, in your training where you say, Hey, you know, this block is, or this event, or this, even just this workout is just, is, is just for me to put some points on the board just to, just to see where I'm. And, you know, and I think when you look at it that way, um, they're definitely valuable, you know, and, and I think, I think they're a good part of, 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 a, of any training program, because if nothing else, it's a, you know, if you've been on a training program for a while, I mean, it's a great way to, to see where you're at. I mean, you know, if you're a competitor, for example, I mean, every, every time you go to compete, that's, that's essentially a fitness challenge, right? Um, but then, you know, if you think about some of these longer challenges, I know, like, you know, like say something like Rise 45 or 75 Hard, or uh, for example, I think there's a, there's like a 21 Day Steel Mace challenge going on. You know, these, these kind of like time-bounded challenges. Um, I mean, I think those are, those, those are, those are good too, because if nothing else, it, it's, it's a great way to focus. I mean, you can look at it a couple different ways, right? So, you know, if you're, 
if you're inexperienced when it comes to training, I mean, it's a good way just to get a little bit of direction, right? Maybe, maybe it'll, it'll, it'll give you some, some things to think about. It'll give you a, a kind of some strict steps to follow. And when you come out of it, maybe you'll have some questions to ask about how you proceed rather than just kind of saying, oh, wow, I have no clue what to do. Um, if you're, if you're a more advanced, uh, trainers or, or trainee or training yourself, or, you know, if you're more advanced to training, I guess, you know, you can always look at like, so for example, so for me, you know, I looked at, uh, there, there are actually a couple of challenges I was thinking about doing, um, cause I like to do challenges at the beginning of the year. Um, whether it's, you know, something completely, um, I don't know what the word is, whether, whether it's just completely to myself, like, you know, like, like usually like the 10,000 swings or, or I've done other 10,000 rep challenges or, you know, something like on at six or, um, you know, the reason I looked at, at rise 45, uh, aside from the, the FNX connection was, was, uh, you know, I needed, um, I didn't need, but I thought it'd be a great time to do a GPP block, you know, just a general conditioning block. And that's another great way to look at it. You know, you could, you could look at the specifics of the challenge and say, you know, if, if you're used to programming for yourself, you can say, oh, how does this actually fit into my programming for the year? And if the challenge is good for that, okay, you know, I mean, there's, there's all the other stuff that goes along with it. Like, um, I mean, you know, one of the points of rise 45 is, is habit development, which, you know, if, if that's something you need to, okay, great. And, um, and I think that's another cool thing about some of these challenges is, is that if they have, uh, if they have like, say a stated goal or a stated kind of non-training related, you know, maybe, maybe sort of a, I don't want to say a higher purpose, but maybe kind of a, a, a purpose outside of training, like, like maybe a life application, like building habits, you, you know, you could, you could spin off of that. I mean, you know, like I've said, you know, for me, it's, it's, um, you know, it's, it's creating content every day. It's creating these, these vlog videos and creating training videos as often as I can. And so that, you know, when this is over in, I'm actually, like I said, I'm going to run two of these. So when this is over in, you know, April and I go back to more focused training. I mean, you know, one of the things I want to do is, you know, when I start competing, I want to actually start documenting some of that and, you know, figuring out ways to talk about that and, you know, see what happens there. So, um, so it's nice to build up some momentum, you know, while I'm in kind of a, a very controlled environment. <laughs> I guess that's kind of a, a polite way to, a polite way to call lockdown. Although, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Okay. I'm not gonna, it's funny. Every time I say lockdown, I have to like, I have to like reel it in for to, to, so I don't go down some, some horrible uh, rabbit hole about, about the absurdity of it all. But, um, but yeah, so I, I guess what I'm saying, and I'm actually going to, I'm going to keep this one really short because uh, yesterday's training was pretty brutal and I'm still feeling it combined with today. So um, I, I'm, I feel if I, if I stay on today too long, I'm just going to, I'm just going to start babbling. Um, but so, so I, I think, I think the, the thing with uh, challenges is, like I said, you, there, there definitely are some critiques or I don't know. I don't like that term. If you're going to design a challenge for yourself, um, there are definitely some guidelines I think that are good to stick to, but like I said, I'm not going to get into that here. Although if you, if anybody wants to hear my thoughts on that, hit me up. I'm, I'm, I can go into depth about that, but I, I think in general, you know, it's, it's good to like, like I said, whether it's an event or a training day or a training session or a block, you know, I, th I think it's good to, I think they're good to do, you know I mean? It breaks up the monotony. It gives you something to look for. It gives you uh, you know, it, it gives you kind of a, a, a calibration point. So, or maybe it's a, it's a reset point. So yeah, you know, I, I know a lot of people like to cap on challenges. Uh, I mean, uh, but at the same time, you know, so many people do them every year and so many people offer them. So there's gotta be some value to them. Right. So that's just my thoughts on them. And I'll be honest, I'm actually having a lot of fun with this one. And, uh, I don't know. I've, I've never done one of the on at six challenges, which is weird because you'd, you'd think I would have by now, but maybe, so maybe, maybe I'll do one of those next, uh, if it, if it fits into my training schedule or sometime this year, but, um, but, uh, yeah, that's what I got. So yeah, that's what I got for today. Uh, thanks for listening. Cheers.